I learned an extreme camouflage to escape special forces. Oh, bro, I'm tired, bro. It's late at night. But. Gotta get it. Gotta stay active. Matthew. I'm currently a tree. Let me explain. The other day, I was playing hide and seek with my local police department, but now the U.S. Special Forces want to turn. So we're going to see how good they really are at tracking people, because as you can tell, Jens and I are going all out. We're in it to win it. I don't mess around. The Special Forces have one hour to find us on this massive farm, and whichever team loses the challenge has to pay for dinner tonight. Oh, man, this is insanely uncomfortable. Comfortable. So with that in mind, I cleaned out my bank account to hire this Hollywood level makeup artist. No, you ain't clean your bank account. Stop. And she's gonna be able to make me go from this to this. That's why right. I am not taking it easy on these guys. You think you can it? Nah, that's crazy. Bro, oh, I can't even see you. That's insane. I'm great. You are great. But just to give you a little bit of context, these guys are no joke. I've got six deployments into Iraq, five to Afghanistan. You've got four to uh, Afghanistan. So our mission sets usually were the kill, capture, capture, kill type missions. We would be at at a target building, we're tearing apart the house. But before all that, we still need to set up our hiding spots, considering that the challenge starts as soon as the special forces arrive here. And that could happen at any moment now, so we gotta finish our spots ASAP. If I cut out this area right here, I literally don't think they're ever going to find me. Gotta save the bark so that we can just put it all over my face. But cutting this tree is taking much longer than I expected, so I'm gonna go check on Kindle and see if I can't get some help. Alright guys, we're gonna see if this bamboo right here can stop these special forces guys from finding me. I'm gonna put a false tall Overload it with trash. I think this is gonna do. It's a pretty trashy hat. You're welcome. If all else fails, I have my plan B. My trash cloak. <laughs> Disney Speedstorm is available now on mobile and PC with Google Play Games. That actually looks pretty good. Now, Kendall's strategy is pretty straightforward, but with Jeffrey, of course, I'm expecting something a little crazy. So I love Western movies. You guys like trees, Kendall, I guess, likes trash. So my disguise today is gonna involve a horse. Are you serious? Side strap to it, I have a blanket around it. It's gonna be wrapped around this horse. Are you kidding me? You're gonna be mobile. These are stationary. There's a whole new meaning to the word Trojan horse. <laughs> and they come really close, and we just go right off into the sunset. Uh, wait. Jeffrey, come back. I still need your help. Jeffrey. And thanks to Jeffrey's skills, he was able to cut the tree super fast while Mariah started to get my makeup applied. So all we have to do now is get the bark glued to my face and pretty much just bury me. Let's do this. It takes a team to hide Matthew. Here I am helping you if you think you're going to stump That's the great. special forces. It's going to be a pruning experience for them. You're at a new level. New level. That was so fun. <laughs> it actually looks really good, though. That's crazy. Are you good if I start filling this in? Yes, please. I honestly think Kindle Spot is fire. You can literally lie down anywhere and look like a bag of trash. I mean, he kind of does that anyway, just without the spot. Can you open your mouth real wide? Oh, dude. <laughs> Why am I always the one who has to bury you? Like, where is Jeffrey? Uh, he did indeed find a horse. You and me are going to have quite the adventure today. These guys are special forces guys. They've encountered some crazy stuff in the past. I don't think these guys have too much experience with horses. That's right. We got some good stuff going. That guy, Matt, he's kind of a goober, but... I hope this background music ain't copyright, bro. <laughs> Tired of getting copyrighted. We like it. I'm telling you, Matthew, he's literally inside of a tree trunk right now. So, Quincy, I got one question. Are you subscribed to the channel? <laughs> Just so you know, those two people are the owners... the horse and a trainer and of course they have a good reason to help jeffrey with his crazy idea we're training him for packing so we're putting a bunch of weird stuff on him got him in a new environment he's not used to kids don't try this at home miss renee and ben they know what's up horses are amazing go out experience nature uh, probably don't agree to hide from special forces guys <laughs> <laughs> oh and speaking of special forces matthew diegers we might need to hustle a little bit so since we have no time to waste kendall and mariah are rushing to help me finish my hiding spot a little uncomfortable but we're gonna make it work also this feels like i'm screaming into your forehead out Please, no, let's say that. <laughs> We're literally putting the finishing touches on, just a little bit of foliage. They're already here, right? Yeah. You're gonna get your high spot? Yep, I'm going. All right, peace. Thank you. 
I think this is gonna work. I'm 60 minutes for three guys Pretty on the beautiful. property. You might need to jog around a little bit, try to cover some ground. And that's exactly what they'll have to do if they're gonna find us on time. Let's just hope they don't jog past my location too many times. My guys wake me up when they walk by. Jeffrey's in this open field for some reason. That's not suspicious at all. No going back at all whatsoever. And Kendall's here outside of the garage of the main house. We got it. Let's get in. And different from our last video where the police came to find us with all their gear, Alex and Chris from the Special Forces are so confident in their skills that the only thing they brought for this operation are two walkie-talkies. Plan-wise, we start with our buildings, you know, do counterclockwise on the property. And then let's just go building to building to building. Time starts right now. All right. Chris, I'll work this side and then we'll go to these other rooms. Okay. Pretty crazy how fast they come up with a plan of action and immediately start applying it. Little fake seats here. And not just that, but they operate in a very methodical way. The plan here is to do kind of a, a grid pattern. So we want to make sure that we're clearing one area and then we can confidently say, okay, not in here. <gasps> Gotta be quick here. Yep. Okay, let's keep moving. Yeah, you know, let's have a there. And their strategy is pretty simple, but very effective. The moment they enter any area, they go on separate paths checking every single spot. And after a full pass, I got the vehicles. The other person goes and double checks their work, which means it's almost impossible for them to leave anything behind. There's nobody in there. So I guess that's bad news for me and the gents. Well, I'll go this way, you go that way. And the crazy thing is that they're literally checking every nook and cranny of this entire farm. You know who might be in there. Beaver boy. I hear someone outside. Look at Wet and bro. For anything that looks out of place, anything that looks suspicious. You usually pick out if things have been moved a lot recently. For a war story, I once found a guy hiding in the hay. This? <laughs> Welcome to Afghanistan. Been there five times. Try not to step on Matt's face. You never know where he's at, man. I think we gotta get in the house. Guys, I've gotta go out. It's just too hot in here. I can't stay in here any longer. No. I need to quickly get through the house. Hey guys. Oh man, this is insanely uncomfortable. Well, if only you hadn't checked the second time. All right. Well, all right. All right. I'm Kendall. Kendall? Alex? Alex, great to meet hey. you. Oh. <laughs> Am I the first? Yep. You're the first. Man. Weird feelings. There's something going on around here. Dude, how on earth does he know? Hey Chris, stay out there. Stay out of here. I'm suspicious. I'm just thinking that something's going on that I should be aware of. Yeah, because you you should have never came back and checked that trash can the second time. Like there's movement happening. It's crazy how in just nine minutes they found one person and pretty much cleared all the buildings on this side of the property. Uh, all right, have fun to meet you, Alex. Yeah, pleasure. Let's get up here. Just gotta make sure, you yeah. know. Yeah, nothing to see here. You search the kitchen? I check all this. It's a distraction. Let's go outside. That's our dog. We got 32 on my clock. Which means they lost a few precious minutes trying to tie up Kendall. Thanks for buying us some time, bro. I think what we should do, going out to the external fence line, going down to the creek, meeting in the middle, so you can come down this way, and I'll come down this way. And then you want to meet in the creek? Yeah. Deep search. Off the rocks. What if this fence line look for anything that looks out of the ordinary? There's so much ground. I'm telling you, there are no breaks for these guys. They're always moving forward, which makes it a little hard for us normal people to keep up with them. My foot has cramped up so bad, I can't actually open my toes up. So, so given Chris my iPhone, he's got to go to do his thing. 
Oh God. Camera guy goes down, Joe must go on. We gotta find these guys. So it's weird to me where this property that no one lives in and there's people up there riding horses. It's either a complete distraction or there's something to be had. Maybe as Matthew dressed up as a horse. <laughs> I would never come up with an idea that cool. But Jeffrey on the other hand, that initial clear, try to be very quick. You need to do what's called a back clear. So you clear it quickly and then when you come back through, you back clear it and you're a little more thorough in your search. One of the key pieces of training is that you're constantly asking yourself what could go wrong. You're thinking about all the ways this stuff could fall apart. Legit, these guys' intuition is insane. I guess that's what years of active duty military service does to you. We got bro, I know he just didn't call, bro. I know he just didn't call, bro. 22 on my clock. Right. We'll walk down the street for a minute. Where's Matthew at? That's a great question. There's a lot of hump on the back of a horse. He is. We're doing package training. Yeah. Get this nigga. Get, get this nigga out, out of here, bro. Uh, <laughs> this <is> <laughs> <laughs> That horse. Well, if we think about it, found one on the horse, back side of the property. We found one in the trash can, front left part, so the northeast would be in the spot. I would think they try to be as far as possible. That would make sense. But after finding Jeffrey, I'm left as the last one standing. So the guys are regrouping to try and figure out the possible locations of my hiding spot. I think Matt is a tree of some kind. It'd be hard to bury him. <laughs> Ain't no way. Did he plant? Did he write this? Did he write this video, bro? Because he know. Like, Everyone who hates ads will be using this Chrome spot, extension by bro. 2025. I feel like I just found a Google cheat code. It's a Put his face in the rock and then have all the grass on top of it. It's like that worked for him last time. So why would you trade something out that worked? But also you can't be the exact same. So I think well, there's a lot of trees there. I think he's in that section right there where we're walking. It'd be a good place to hide. Oh, we 20 minutes. We'll focus our efforts there. Buildings arguably cleared. We went boundary to boundary on both sides. But obviously you can't clear 50 acres in an hour. But most of the places we've been are cleared unless he's on the move. Play. Hey, I'm gonna pop right over here and we'll check this stuff along here and then I'm gonna come back. I can't believe that just happened. Both at the same time decided to turn off the road right before coming up on me. I'm picturing like Arnold Schwarzenegger and the Predator. Like he just comes out of a tree truck, you know? If Chris finds him, I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> Edit me up. You gotta find him. There's a lot of stuff that looks out of place, you guys. Have intentionally made it hard. That's some broke brush. That was Alex. But with pretty much all the areas clear, they decided to go all in on this section of the woods. What's gonna hurt is when we figure out where he was. It's like, dude, if we we've probably looked there, that's gonna hurt. Okay, this is crazy. They're literally walking right by me right now. We got about 15 minutes. So we got two down, and now we can take our time to hopefully not miss anything. But I mean, again, there's so much ground to cover. Dude, this is a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. Big compound. It's a good property. There's a lot of things that are suspect about it. It's just a lot of weird spots. What do you see, dude? Nothing. This is crazy. Whatever he's doing. <laughs> Alex, we got 10. All right. It's gonna be like that last thing. You guys are filming us. Right by him. And everyone watches like, dude, he's right there. Like, he is right there. Don't move. Got him. Hey, home. Go home. Go home. Like, oh my gosh, that's you, you, you trying too hard. You the ring stuff, dude. Six minutes to kill. Are you serious? Six minutes. Oh. <laughs> uh, that's real tight. Yeah. We want to put a link in the description for the Special Forces Foundation. Anything that the American people can do to support them is greatly appreciated. We're with you. Ain't no way he he. 
he knew exactly where these people was by himself. W video though. You might need to hire him for something else. 